a few instructions before we start to be borne in mind during the entire session. Kindly keep your microphones on mute, requesting those whose microphones are on to kindly mute them. Your microphones need to be on mute during the entire session, please. Secondly, kindly switch off your cameras in case you will be doing or at the moment doing any other personal work apart from listening in to this session. Kindly switch off your cameras. For those who have your cameras on, in case you decide to do any personal work during the session, kindly bear in mind to please switch off your cameras at that time. This is very important. Thirdly, a request to one and all, kindly do not interrupt the session, do not interrupt the speaker with any questions during the session. There will be a question and answer round at the end of the session. With this, I will take you to the sequence of events for this morning. We will begin with a welcome address, which shall be delivered by our alumni president, Advocate Prasad Naik, followed by the lecture by our resource person, Mrs. Amruta Bosde Salunke. After her session, there will be a question and answer round, which will be dealt with by our alumnus advocate, Sanchit Desai. And lastly, the vote of thanks, but again by our alumnus advocate, Sudhir Naik. Ladies and gentlemen, I now formally extend a warm welcome to one and all here virtually to our national webinar that has been hosted and conducted by the Govind Ramnath Kare College of Law Alumni Association. This is our third webinar in succession of the previous two that have been held. The first one being the discussion that was being held on the conviction of advocate Prashant Bhushan. And very recently, the second one was held which was delivered by our Honorable Judge Adgar Fernandez, who virtually gave us an insight on the Commercial Courts Act, its practice and procedures. And today we come to our third webinar. The topic for today's webinar is the Real Estate Regulation and Development Act 2016 with Goa Rules, in short known to many of us as the RERA Act. And for this morning, we have a resource person, a woman with abundant working experience on the topic at hand. Introducing to you all our resource person for this morning, Mrs. Amruta Bosle Salunke, a lawyer and a registered arbitrator. Amruta is a self-motivated and energetic personality with a splendid and diverse experience of 13 years in the real estate industry. Amruta started working in 2007 while pursuing her graduation BSL LLB. She completed her law degree in the year 2010. She had the opportunity of working in reputed organizations such as the Punawala Group of Companies, Soba Limited, and Brahma Corp Limited. She has worked at management level and as a legal head. <coughs> which has enabled her to understand the business perspective as well as has enhanced her practical legal knowledge. After working hard for 10 years, she desired to become an entrepreneur and has established a sole proprietorship in the year 2017 under the name Glit Edge, which offers legal consultancy services to the real estate industry. Her attributes like quick decision making and systematic approach towards obtaining goals are taking Glit Edge to new heights across Maharashtra as well as Goa. In the last three years, Amruta and her hardworking team has successfully registered more than 500 projects under the RERA Act. With Glit Edge, Amruta's mission is to provide one-stop shop services to real estate industry under one roof. Along with running her own business, she's very passionate about sharing knowledge and has delivered many lectures on RERA Act for renowned developers in Maharashtra and Goa. Anruta follows her passion by making YouTube educational videos, providing insights and updates on the RERA Act. 
The precise information provided by Amruta has been instrumental in assisting the viewers, especially the developers, to understand the act and played a, a prominent role in resolving their queries. Her techno-legal knowledge of the industry played a key role in the registration of the projects on the website, as well as interacting with RERA authority. Fortunately for us today, we have this wonderful personality to impart her knowledge on the topic at hand. Over to you, Advocate Prasad Naik, Naik, our president, to deliver his welcome address. A very good morning to all the participants. On behalf of Govind Ramnath Kare College of Law Alumni Association, it gives me immense pleasure to present before you one more webinar on the very important legislation of RERA. RERA was enacted, as you all know, in the year 2016. However, there are not much efforts made to create an awareness on this enactment. In the years to come, the real estate industry would be fully monitored by this legislation, and most of the litigations pertaining to real estate will come within the purview of RERA. We have today with us a very young and renowned legal expert, Advocate Amruta Bosle Salunke, who has been handling matters under RERA for almost more than four years, and she has made presentations on this enactment all over India. She is recognized as an expert on this topic. <coughs> and this can be analyzed that today, many developers in the state of Goa are associated with her. <coughs> with this short welcome note, I request Advocate Amruta Mosle Salunke to make a presentation. Over to you, Madam. Good morning, all. Thank you, Prasad, sir, for giving me this opportunity. I'll be sharing my screen now. Yes. It's, you can share it, madam. Yeah. We'll start. Share? No, not it, not it, madam. I think there's some issues. Just check. Just a minute. Yeah. yeah. I think it, yeah, it is visible now. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Yes, you can start. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Today, we will be discussing the RERA Real Estate Regulation and Development Act 2016 with reference to Goa RERA Rules 2017. The main points what we will be discussing are registration yeah, of projects, then the circulars which are passed by Goa Rera Authority in respect to registration, then the functions and duties and responsibilities of promoters as well as allottees, dispute redressal system, offenses, penalties, and adjudication. And the last part what we will be discussing is Agreement drafting as per RERA. To start with RERA, we will we first see the definition what is given by RERA. The first definition is allottee. This is the first time any act has given this definition, the allottee. What is the meaning of allottee? Allottee means the person to whom the promoter sold or if the project is lease, lease project, then if a promoter is leasehold or freehold, the flat or the unit or the office are called as allottees, as well as if promoter sold one unit to one person and that person transferred that unit to the third party, then the third, then the second owner of that unit is also an allottee as per DERA Act. Then the second definition is promoter. What is a promoter as per RERA? RERA has given the definition like the developer who is developing the project, who is developing a land, who is constructing upon the land, a building or row houses or a plotting project. He is, the dev he is a promoter as per RERA as well as the authority, if any state or any authority is constructing houses 
or a project for sale or for the allottees, then the authority is also a promoter under RERA. In addition to this, Goa RERA passed one circular for landowners also. When the project is under JV, joint development, joint venture, then the landowner is also a promoter as per data. The next definition is carpet area. What is the carpet area? See, in, in the market, we have so much stock available for sale. Now, RERA is the act which is passed by center and the motive of this act is to know what what is the stock available in overall India? So they should they uh, stated this definition to know the exact area which is available for sale. Now the carpet area includes the internal space which is available, which which can be used the net usable floor area with the area under partitional wall. Partition wall means the walls which divided the total flat into the rooms. What is excluded in this definition is the external walls of the unit, then the open balconies or enclosed balconies, terraces, shafts, etc. These things are not covered in carpet area. At the time of registration, you need to give the carpet area only. Then the project. What is the project under RERA? See, this is the new system or you can say this is the new development in the act that RERA is saying not only the building or the buildings in the project, you can register as a project under RERA, but you can Divide, it, divide one building means part of building also you can register as a project. Then the apartments, if you have more than eight apartments in a building that is new, newly constructed, then you can register those apartments individually as a project. Plots also you need to register. Plot is also a project under RERA, including government projects also. This is all together the definition of project. Then the advertisement. Any giving information, offering sale, inviting people to purchase the units or purchase the project, that is the advertisement. Advertisement includes verbal advertisement, technical advertisement, or you if you are putting anything on your website, the information of that project that is also an advertisement then the covered parking this is the important definition you can see the covered parking rera is given option to sell this covered parking and you can uh, see the more uh, about covered parking in uh, one judgment given by maharera authority I have shared the number of that complaint. That complaint you can search on Maharera website. There, they have clearly declared that covered parking, which is enclosed and sanctioned by the authority, which is there in your sanction plan, those parkings you can see. But the covered parking should be enclosed from all the sites. These are the important definitions. The first part of RERA Act or RERA rules, this is the application for registration, how you can apply for registration under RERA. About the project, about your company, you need to first give the information about your company, what is the name of your company, then the establishment number, your GST number and everything, those K KYC details you need to give about the company and the partners or Maybe you are an individual, then you can give the individual details. Then the project launched in five years. If you have any project launched earlier before the registration, you can give about you can give the information about the earlier projects which are completed or the projects are, which are going on. Then the estimated cost of project. This is the main part. 
estimated cost of project means your land cost construction cost then the premiums you have paid for sanad for your sanctioning all these cost includes in the estimated cost of project then the receivable amount receivable amount in maharashtra we have ready reckoner rates that rate we take as a government rate what is asked by rera at the time of registration but in goa you don't have these types of rates so they passed one circular saying that you need to take a valuation report from valuator stating exact government value or market value for all the units which is which are there in your project the total of that is your receivable amount for this receivable amount you will be requiring a valuation report from a government valuator then the title certificate latest title certificate or detailed title report is required for rera registration land documents development agreement jv agreement or sale deed what is there how you have purchased the land or you have taken the land for joint development then that land agreement is required for rera registration then approvals and construction license construction license should be valid at the time of registration at the time of application under tera then sanction plan layout plans all proposed plans what is this all proposed plans proposed plans means if you have sanctioned your plan and you are going to revise that plan in near future you have your future drawings or your future plans are ready with you that plans you have already submitted in the uh, uh, towards authority for sanctioning and you have not received the revised sanctions anyways you can register the project with your earlier sanction plans but you need to upload the proposed plans the drawings you can upload with the signature of your architect engineer then information about the plans you give all the information about your professionals professional means your architect engineer and your ce their registration numbers the registration numbers and uh, then the registration fees 50 rupees per square meter you need to pay 10 sorry 10 rupees per square meter is the fees for registration minimum 50000 and maximum is 10 lakhs for the registration under data you need to provide the certificates ca engineer and architect certificate for the registration we will be de in detail discussing the certificates in further slides the certificates yes architect certificate architect certificate includes your percentage of construction work how much percentage how how you are constructing the project that certificate architect needs to give you that certificate what is the percentage of completion your cons construction work then the engineer certificate engineer should certify the actual incurred cost on the site at the time of construction how much cost you have incurred then the ca certificate ca certificate includes your incurred cost your actual incurred cost which is which the cost should be booked in the books of our ca that cost ca will give you that certificate ca will give you the certificate includes the land cost also and the cost that you have paid for the premiums premiums functioning process and the actual incurred cost for the construction other certificates with what your chartered accountant needs to give the audit report and the certificates quarterly basis for withdrawal of the money from your rera account then the yearly report 
yearly audit report. He needs to audit your RERA account, only RERA account, and he needs to give you the audit report yearly basis. Yes. After all this, this registration, you will be receiving the RERA number, RERA certificate from RERA authority. Then you need to update your project on quarterly basis. As per act, you need to update your bookings within seven days, then your cancellation within seven days, then the quarterly updates, your a CA engineer and architect certificate you need to take from there and you need to upload on the site quarterly on quarterly basis. Yearly updates, that is your audit reports need to update on yearly, yearly basis. In addition to this, you need to update your percentage of work done within seven days of the progress of the work. As per Goa RERA, they have asked they have asked the promoters to upload the quarterly updates and the yearly updates only. So you need to upload the quarterly certificate, CA engineer architect quarterly certificates and the yearly updates that is the audit report from the CA. These are the only two updates what Goa RERA is asking. Yes, the new circulars about RERA registrations. First circular on 19th March 2020, the Goa RERA Authority replaced the architect certificate, architect certificate license number with Council of Architecture registration number. Now you need to give your architect Council of Architecture registration number. Then the CS in the engineer certificate, they have uh, now they are asking for country and town planning department registration number. Uh, and the CA in the CA certificate, instead of statutory auditor, they are asking for practicing chartered accountant. These words they have changed and the license yeah. number. Yeah. The second circular, the important circular, if you have done, if you want to revise your uh, registration, the website entry, except change in promoters or, and the project name, you can change any sale by paying rupees thousand to RERA authority as a fees for changes for correction. You can change the and project name by paying 5,000 rupees. Changes in the document, 5,000 rupees. If you have uh, uploaded the wrong document, then you can you need to pay 5,000 rupees and you can remove that document and upload the new one, the correct one. And if uh, you are an agent, you need to pay 1,000 rupees for any correction. If apart from this, you have any correction, you need to mail to the to RERA authority and then you can ask for the correction then they will tell you, they will convey you the fees for the correction and you need to pay those fees and you can change registration. Banking mechanism. In the banking mechanism, as per RERA, RERA have asked us to open RERA account and they have given the percentage 70 30. Many of us must be having this question what is the banking mechanism under RERA? How we can open the account? How we can maintain the account? The, this is the banking mechanism you can follow. You need to open four accounts for one project. The first account is your principal account. The second account is your 70% account, which is your RERA account. This account should be audited and your CA should be maintaining the books of accounts for this account, this 70% uh, account. Then the 30%, then the third account is your 30% account, which is your personal account. And the fourth account, 
this is your passing through account means you can deposit the taxes you can deposit stamps registration fees and other charges what you are taking from the allottees we'll take one example if you have received 100 rupees from your client or from your allottee you need to deposit the 100 rupees in your principal account then the bank will automatically divide this 100 rupees into 70 and 30 bank will automatically transfer this 70 rupees in your rera account and 30 rupees in your uh, personal account you can deposit the taxes and uh, other charges in your personal account also if you don't want to open the fourth account you can deposit the taxes and other charges in your personal account you one thing you can do for easy practice you can withdraw as per ca certificate you can withdraw the amount uh, from 70% account from the 70% rera account you can deposit that amount in your 30% account and you can do all your expenses regarding this project from your 30% account but your withdrawal money withdrawal amount should match with your ca certificate the date of withdrawal and the date of ca certificate should be matched at the end of the year this all record you need to maintain with your office in your office only. Exemptions from RERA registration under section three of the SAT, they have given some exemptions for the project. The project which is the, the project land which is under 500 square meter or 500 square meter then or the uh, number of units should be eight or less than eight then this type of project is exempted from rera now the this point this uh, this or or in this option is in dispute now rera goa rera says if you have both conditions in your project, then only your project is exempted from data. If you have one of them, you need to register your project under data. So now till today, we need to register if you if you have one uh, one condition in your project, you need to re register your project. Your project is not under the exemption. Then the second exemption is. If your project have completion certificate and occupancy certificate before commencement of this act, means the 1st December 2017 when Goa RERA started. Before this, if you have occupation certificate with you or completion certificate with you, then your project is exempted from RERA. The third exemption is renovation or redevelopment. If your project is redeveloped, you are developing an old, old project or uh, your project, you are just constructing a building for the existing people who are residing there and your project does not include any advertisement, any marketing, any selling or any invitation for people, then you no need to register under RERA. These are the three exemptions what are there for not registering the project. Yes, the functions, liabilities, responsibilities of the promoter. Functions of the promoter. First, we will see the functions, how the promoter needs to function under RERA. The first function is to register the project. Promoter needs to register the project under RERA. Then the promoter needs to update this project. As we have discussed, the update under Goa RERA is only the quarterly updates and the yearly updates. You need to upload the certificates on website. Website, you must be, be after registration of process, there you will receive the login ID, log uh, the link from RERA authority. You need to create your login ID there and you can upload your certificates, quarterly certificates there. Then, to at the time of registration you need to 
upload the correct documents and give the correct information. This is the main function of the promoter. Then the RERA number should be there on your advertisement, on your pros prospectors, on your websites, everything. Everywhere you need to display your RERA registration number. Then the specification should be displayed on your advertisement. What are the specifications you are giving in the project that should be displayed on your advertisement, on your brochures, on your website with your project details? Yes, then the responsibilities. Promoter is having so many responsibilities now as per RERA and he needs to fulfill all the, he needs to follow, uh, he needs to do all these, he, these responsibilities because if he does not do all these things, he will be punished under this act. So the first responsibility is to provide water, sanitation and electricity. This is the important point. Before this, we, we, uh, we were covering all these issues in the agreement, but the agreement, most probably the one side agreement, now as per RERA in the agreement also and in the act also, they have covered that this is the promoter's responsibility to promote and electricity. Till position till position of the project or handover of the project this is the responsibility on promoter's shoulders only whether he needs to see whether the water is reached to the to the project whether sanitation is there electricity is there yes then the structural defect structural defect liability is on the promoters for five years after handing over the project when you hand over the project from that date, your structural liability, your construction liability starts. From that day till five years, the liability is there on the promoter. Formation of association. The promoters need to form this association that may be society, maintenance society, or the association of person or the federation, apex body, anything, any association, this is the responsibility of promoter to form that and hand over the project to the association. To pay all outgoing still position, the taxes, the insurance payment, insurance of construction, Rita is saying you need to do the land insurance also, all those premiums, till the position, till the handover, promoter needs to pay. This is the responsibility of promoter. Then the liability. Liabilities of promoter cannot create mortgage after sale. If you sold the project or if you have sold some apartments, then promoter cannot create mortgage for the sold units, for the uh, sold units, sold project, Okay, a promoter cannot create a market. If the allotters gives you consent and writing, then you can go for the mortgage. After that, verification of advertisement. What you're giving or what your salesperson, your salesperson, what your salesperson is talking, that is also your liability. If your salesperson is telling that this project is having these amenities, this project is having swimming pool with the, uh, we are giving gyms also, we are giving, et cetera, et cetera. That is also your responsibility. If a misrepresentation or if a false statement goes by your salesperson, then that is also your liability. You need to tra train your salesperson what to talk and what to not to not disclose to the allottees. Then what you are showing on the website, what is there in your advertisement is everything is your liability. No advance before agreement. As per data, you can take 10% of booking amount, 10% of the agreement cost as a booking amount. After that, the more payment, the person, the further payment you cannot take before execution of the agreement. Take the consent for alteration for change in sanction plans. After doing sale or after taking bookings, I'm saying bookings, after taking bookings also, 
if you are going for revision of plan in the sanction plan, then you need to take written consent from your existing allottees. At least 70% consent should be there in writing for revision of sanction plans. Insurance and premium. As I said, as per RERA, you need to insure your land of the project and the construction also. This is your liability. And the pay payment of premium is also promoter's liability. Return of amount and compensation. Return of amount. I've just written return of amount means if any cancellation is there, if any dispute is there, if any litigation is there and authority or the uh, or the authority ask you to return his amount and the authority gives you order to give the interest or compensation then it's promoter's liability to return the amount and give the compensation these are the liabilities functions responsibilities of the promoter Formation. As we see, this is the liability of the promoter. So how and when you you need to form the formation, you need to form the association. Promoter can form an association that may be society, that may be uh, apartment. If your project consists one building. Then after booking, booking, I'm saying the booking, after taking booking of 51% of your total numbers, then you start the process, process formation of the society. If you have more than one building in your project, then you need to form an apex body or federation for your common amenities. What is this uh, federation apex body? You need to form one society first. The society should be formed after completion of your last building within three months. Then the federation and apex body. You, you will form society or association for the building. Then for the other amenities and the common areas that also should be taken care of. So for that reason, now you can form a federation. You can take the society members or committee members together and form a separate committee for your amenities and specification. That committee is apex body or the federation you can see. Transfer of title, the convince. You need to convey the land to the society, to the association, or to the federation. In Goa, you will, the practice is to do the sale deed. At the time of sale deed, the part of land also transferred to the allottee. So the part which is, which is left with the amenities, with the roads, <clears throat> that you need to convey within one month from registration of uh, association, or within three months from the date of occupancy certificate. Now, the first thing what is there in the act, within one month after registration of association, this is not at all in practice now. This is not practical. So promoter can convey the land after taking OC. After, when he gets the OC, after that, within three months, he can convey the land to the association. In case of layout project means in case of you have more than one building in your project, then you can convey the land within three months of registration of apex body. At the uh, after registration after registration of association of your last building, you can uh, form a federation and after forming federation within three months, you need to convey the land. This is the formation of, uh, this is the uh, process for title transfer. Then the insurance part. 
this is the part what is data is newly uh, covered promoters needs to get insurance for title of the uh, pro, for, of the land of the project then the building and the construction also promoters liability to pay premiums to hand over and transfer all the documents of this insurance to the allottees or association of allottees all documents regarding uh, uh, insurance shall be handed over to the association then the title insurance system the title insurance system is not there in india till today but some now uh, after 3 years 4 years of this act some uh, agencies are there who are doing land title uh, land title insurance but the premium is quite high so nobody is doing the government is also working on this for the less premium and to promote this system to ensure the title then till now nobody is doing this but in future we need to ensure our title also so the, for the new projects i will be suggesting you can take the approximate premium of your estimated cost of project then comes the rights and duties of the allottees allottees we have already seen who are the allottees they are take, the allottees who are there in our project who have purchased some units from our project those are the allottees in rera they this rights and duties particularly duties rera is the only act which says about the duties of the allottees we'll see the rights first to obtain all the documents and agreement to sale now the allottees have right to ask you about all the documents documents includes uh, sanction plans the draft agreement your title documents uh, your commence your construction license your com uh, any other licenses any other renocs that is required for the project all those documents can be asked by your allottee entitled to no stage by time schedule for completion you need to at the time of booking only promoter needs to disclose the stage wise completion of the project and how you are you are asking for the stage wise payment also then provision for water sanitation electricity and other amenities now at the time of booking only you need to tell you need to disclose all these things how you are planning for water how you are planning for electricity and the other amenities also as per rera i land here as per rera if you have uh, your sanction plans includes and shows your place of amenities where is your garden your swimming pool the place of your transmitter your stp if your sanction plan includes all those things then you cannot change at the time of revision you cannot change the place of all these amenities or specifications means your transformer will be there irrespective of n number of revision you cannot change the place of trans transformer your swimming pool your amenities your stp place this is the addition in this this is not covered here but i'm sharing then to claim the possession of the apartment and common areas this is a major right of the allottee they can claim the position at uh, the given date by you and they can ask for the common areas to uh, hand over to them then the formation of association this is the right of the allottee to take formation and to take the association formed from the uh, promoter entitled to claim interest if any default by promoter if promoter does in default then the allottee have right to claim compensation for that default then the duties now these duties uh, you can mark these duties this duty should be there in your new agreement 
duties to make payment on time. A lottery should pay you, pay the promoter on time. When the demand letter goes to the lottery, then the lottery should pay the payment on time. If he don't pay this payment, you can ask for interest as per this act. As per RERA Act, you can ask for delayed payment interest to pay necessary government fees. This point is covered by the agreement also. The government fees means obviously the stamp and registration fees are there only. But in addition to that, if government asks for any fees, then after registration of the agreement, then the allottee needs to pay that also. Pay interest if default by allottee. If allottee defaults in something, in payment or in some cases, then the allottee, this is the duty of the allottee to pay interest to the promoter. The interest rate as per data is the MLRC rate, the highest marginal lending rate plus 2% is the interest rate for the promoter also and for the allottee also. From both sides, this is the rate of interest, what you can claim or what you need to pay to either the promoter or the allottee. Participation and formation of association. As I said, promoter needs to start the formation of society after booking of 50%. 50%, 51% booking, uh, after taking booking of 51%, promoter needs to start the formation of society. But the allottee, this is the duty of the allottee to take participate, to participate in this formation, give all signatures or required document for this process. And to take position. Your project is ready for position, you have already informed to the allottee, then it's allottee's duty to take the position within prescribed period. The period you can write in the agreement that within 15 days of the notice or within one month or within for Goa, uh, the allottees are out of Goa, major allottees are not from Goa, so you can write the one month period or more than that for position, but in that prescribed period, this is the duty of the allottee to take position. If the allottee is not taking the position as per act, as per RERA Act and as per Goa rules also, you can cancel the unit or you can send the notice that if you are not taking the position, I'm canceling your unit and yes, you can cancel the unit if a client, if a allottee is not coming to take the position. After this, just a minute. Yes. Dispute redressal system. RERA Act and RERA rules, as per Goa RERA and as per the Central Act, RERA Act, they've given the dispute redressal system. The system starts with the authority, then the adjudicating officer, then arbitral tribunal, metropolitan magistrate, and the high court. This is the dispute redressal system. We'll see in detail. Authority. In Goa, they have formed the authority. Authority you have Jim, I've given the names of the authority also you can see on the screen the this is the authority the these uh, officers are there for uh, dispute redressal as an authority the functions of the authority protection of interest of allottees promoters and agents after registration under RERA the project the project if register the that the allottees what the allottees who are there in that in that project if agent working for that project then to protect the interest uh, is uh, authority's function then ensuring timely completion of the project this is the function this is the function of the authority so how they will know the completion 
stage of our project. So they are asking for quarterly updates. Through quarterly up updates, they are examining your project. They're keeping watch on your project. So you need to update your project in time. You need to update all the certificates. CA, engineer, architect certificate, you need to update quarterly. They are watching your project. They are looking uh, all your certificates and they are examining, ensuring that your project is completing in time. Creation of redressal mechanism. Yes. This is the function of the authority. They need to appoint the adjudication officer for the uh, adjudication for the uh, mutual compromises that have happening. Then the authority uh, formation. This is the function of the authority. Encouraging grading of the project. Under RERA, under RERA, this is the first time the government authority is grading your project. They are grading your project. Now you can see what is the grade of the project. So as per your updation, as per your registration, as per your uh, information, what are what is there in the website, they are, they are giving the grade for your project and amicable conciliation. Authority have power to amicably close your matter or amicably do the conciliation for any litigation. Then the powers of the authority to call for information conducting investigation. If litigation is there, authority have power to call the promoter, power to call the authority for uh, information and investigation. Authority have the same powers like civil courts under civil suit. They can conduct the arguments, they can ask for evidences, they can pass the interim orders, they can issue directions, they can impose penalties and interest or interest. They can take sumoto action also. If the project is not registered and if if the project is not registered, then also they can take action. If the project is registered and nobody has complained for about the project and RERA authority comes to the notice that the agreement to what is there on the site, I'm giving example, like they come to uh, notice that the agreement, what is there on the site, that agreement is not correct or not as per RERA, then they can take sumoto action also rectification of order if authority pass some order they have uh, within two years they can rectify their own order yes obviously but they cannot rectify in they cannot correct they cannot interfere in the order what they have passed but they can rectify the dates or the other things what is what are there in the order then the recovery. If authority pass some order and the recovery is there and promoter or allottee is not paying that amount, then the recovery of that those areas uh, is as per land revenue under the provision of Goa Land Revenue Code. As per this act, they can recover the money, they can attach the properties, rest properties of the promoter, they can attach other uh, um, immovable properties of the promoters for the recovery of the project. Real estate appellate tribunal after order after uh, order of the authority within 60 days you can go for the appeal yeah goa is having appellate tribunal rajesh narvekar is the president of that the administrative tribunal in goa is uh, having the capacity of appellate tribunal on 11 September 2019, they have formed this appellate tribunal. Functions of appellate tribunal. Application for settlement of disputes and appeals to the 
arbitral tribunal within 60 days from the order of authority or adjudication officer uh, you can go for the appeal if insufficient if you have sufficient cause then you can go for appeal after 60 days also arbitral tribunal can pass interim orders then they need to uh, pass an or a pass order within 60 days and this is the function that after making appeal you they need to give you the result within 60 days only the powers order passed by appellate tribunal executed as a decree decree of the court the order by arbitral tribunal is a is uh, equivalent to the decree as a civil court. Arbitral terminal may transmit any order to civil court for local jurisdiction for execution. Yes, the order of arbitral tribunal goes to the civil court, what is there in the jurisdiction, and for execution, that civil court takes action for execution of that order. This is the process for uh, the litigation part. Then the second appeal. After arbitral trial, if you want to go for the appeal, you can go, you can appeal within 60 days from the date of arbitral tribunal's order. If, insuffic if sufficient cause is there, then you can go after 60 days also. High court of that particular state where the project is situated, you can go there, you can appeal there. No appeal if order passed by arbitral tribunal with the consent of the parties. If parties have consented for the order, then that order, uh, the, then those parties cannot go to the to high court only on substantial question of law. This is the second appeal. So the appeal, uh, you cannot go for appeal for the facts of the cases. F the facts will be discussed and the order on the facts will give by only by the arbitral tribunal itself. After that, on facts, there will be no discussion and no appeal. This is the second appeal. So if a there is a question on the substance on the law then only you can go for the appeal in the high court and this is the second appeal then the offenses penalties and the adjudication process there are penalties there are offenses by the promoter, by the allottees, or by the agents also. If apartment sold without registration, without taking RERA number, then the promoter is liable for penalty up to 10% of estimated cost. It may extend additional 10% or three years imprisonment or both. Estimated cost, we have already discussed about the estimation of the project. Estimated cost includes, estimated, estimated cost includes your land cost, construction cost, everything what is there except the advertisement expenses. Everything what is there is equal to your estimated cost of project. And the penalty is 10% of that estimated cost. So you people can count how much will be the penalty if you have, if you don't register if you don't go for rera registration so it's better to register your projects under rera if for information false information submitted at the time of registration then 5% or penalty of the estimated cost 5% of the estimated cost if you upload the false information if you upload wrong documents then the penalty is 5% violation of act violation of provisions then 5% of estimated cost fails to comply 
if promoter or allotee fails to comply any order issued by authority then the penalty is 5% or more than that and for orders the penalty is per day may extend up to 5% of the estimated cost in case of failure to pay interest or penalties the authority can attach the lands that we have already discussed if allotee fails to comply with the order the penalty is penalty per day may extend to 5% of the cost of the apartment then the if allotee fails to comply with any order any issue, any order issued by appellate tribunal then the penalty per day may extend to 10% of the apartment of the uh, cost of the apartment and one year imprisonment or both for the allotees for the promoter the penalties are in percentage of estimated cost of the project and for the allotees the penalties calculated on the cost of the apartment yes the last point agreement as per rera before rera the agreement the promoter used to draft the agreement as per his convenience as per his project as per the system what is following what he was following but after rera rera introduces the one draft for all in your goa rera rules you can find the draft you can uh, the most important thing is you cannot delete anything from the from that draft but the positive thing is you can add your clauses in the draft but the clauses should not contrary to the act if your addition is contrary to, to the act then your agreement will not stand in the court your agreement is invalid then we will see what is the new things what is what are there in this draft first thing is you need to uh, you need to enter the rera registration number of the project you need to annex the rera certificate to your agreement then the information about your architect engineer you need to uh, in, uh, include in your uh, in your agreement the other name of the architect engineer the then the license number also carpet area the definition only only carpet area definition is there in the agreement and it should be there how you have calculated your area that should be there in your agreement consideration and the cost of covered parking covered parking this is the additional thing what is there in the agreement now the number what i have given you in the start of this uh, presentation that judgment says you can sell your covered car park and in the agreement also rera uh, the goa rera or the rera act c they are given the schedule and it includes the amount for covered car park you need to give your consideration Uh, you can put the area like your carpet area plus the area of your balcony your terraces include uh, enclosed or external you can give the area of that you can give the area for common areas you can give the area of covered car parking what area you should not include in your agreement is the total of all these areas you cannot give the total of these areas okay but you can give all the areas what you are giving to that particular allotee for that particular unit likewise the consideration also you can put the total consideration for the, the for 
one particular unit this is the total concentration for this unit plus you can give the amount for covered parking also the consideration for covered parking also you can show the covered parking in your payment schedule also the the price separately you can show in the cover uh, you, in your payment schedule also booking amount you can take 10% of the booking amount you need to disclose you need to write that amount in your agreement stage wise payment or full payment after execution of agreement stage wise payment rera is give, given you the stages what are the stages how you need to take the payment from the allottees what should be completed and after what you can take how much percentage of money that is given in the agreement draft you need to take the uh, consideration as per that stages only people have one question for for uh, this point can a promoter take the full consideration at the time of agreement so the answer is yes the agreement says that if the parties are mutually agreed then the allotty can pay full amount for that unit and the promoter can receive can take can accept the full consideration of that unit if the if they both are agree this full payment you can take after execution of that after execution of the agreement execution means not registration after signing the agreement you just need to take signature of your allottees you and your signature should be there and this is the process of execution after execution this execution of the agreement you can accept the full amount of that unit then the uh, amenities of the project the amenities of the project the list of amenities should be there in the agreement the may, the important point here is you the uh, rera draft rera uh, agreement draft given only the list of amenities or list of specifications but we can split as an advocate we need to protect our client so we can split that uh, list we can give one separate list for the amenities for the specification particularly for the specifications specifications under uh, liability for 5 years and the specifications not under liability not under structural defect not under 5 years liability this list you can split in two parts you can add some points for under liability you can add some points for not uh, not uh, you cannot give the uh, replacement or the liability is not upon you you can split that list you can do the this slight modification with the agreement then the position date position date should be there the exact date when you are going to deliver the position to the association or to the allottees that date should be there in your agreement then the five year structural liability yes as i said you can split the structural liability you can mention what exactly what structural liability you are liable for yes the uh, the defective workmanship about the defective workmanship you are liable for 5 years if any defect in the structure of the building or any defect in internal uh, electric uh, points internal plumbing uh, plumbing system then you are liable for 5 years if you return in the agreement that you are not liable for these structural thing then only you are liable for all these things as per act but small things like the uh, plumbing fittings then the door handle then uh, the uh, windows or the grills all these specifications you can add like you are not liable for 
defect and all these things you can add separately in the agreement but the structural liability is for five years then the additional charges if you are taking any additional charges like maintenance like uh, uh, maintenance registration stamps that needs to be mentioned in your agreement separately formation of society what how your when how you are forming what you are forming in future that should be there in your agreement from the first day then the interest clause interest clause is there from the beginning before there are also the interest clause is there but the rate of interest written in the agreement now is as per data that i have already said to uh, mlrc rate plus 2% that is your interest how you can charge or you are liable to pay that also written uh, in the agreement that should be there then the annexures annexures as i said you need to annex the rera certificate then your plan your construction license other licenses these things are necessary these things are important and the list of annexure is also given in the draft agreement what is there in goa rera rules so you need to follow all those things after registering your project, project under rera yes the main point is if your project is exempted from rera then also you need to follow all the rules regulations of rera act and rera rules because exemption is one part of rera act or rera rules but registration may be exempted but other act is applicable for your project your agreement should be as per rera your booking forms your allotment letters should not uh, contrary to the act then the uh, formation formation of association is also you need to start the process as per rera after 51% booking then the conveyance system is also you need to follow as per rera this is all about the agreement drafting new agreement drafting new drafting techniques for rera yes this is all of rera hope you all have understood and we can switch for question answer session now thank you Mr. Arugate Salonke, for uh, the session. Again, to remind you all that the session will uh, be dealt by with by our alumnus advocate Sanjeev Desai. Uh, please bear in mind that this is a direct question and answer round, so kindly maintain decorum during the entire session. Uh, please follow um, advocate uh, Sanjeev. Desai, as uh, he is conducting the session uh, in a respectable manner, questions should come uh, one by one. Please do not interrupt another participant where, as and when he is asking a question. Please allow our um, our uh, guest today, guest speaker today, to answer each and every question. Please do not interrupt her as she is answering the question. And lastly, I repeat. those who are doing personal work please switch off your videos those who do not intend to ask any questions please switch off your uh, audios as well thank you very much and over to you advocate sanjeev desai very good morning mrs salunke good morning sir now first question is now agreement should have a clause of date of occupancy yes specific date of occupancy yes now sometimes what happens is if we mention a specific date of occupancy at the time of signing agreement hmm. by the time the construction has taken place and you apply the builder applies for the occupancy there are so many formalities it once upon completion certificate it takes 2 to 3 months for grant of occupancy certificate yes how is how is going to be builder secured or developer secured in such circumstances where we because of his no fault his no fault the occupancy is delayed by the authorities 
so for this point you need to first you need to you it's compulsory to mention the date of possession in the agreement on that you can mention 6 months grace period for that but rera authority has given you uh, option to upload your application for occupancy certificate on website so rera authority you if you have applied for occupancy certificate you need to upload your application on website so the authority should know that you have applied in time but the delay is from the authority so if in future any litigation or any authority cause you problem or goes to the authority the authority should uh, is well well aware that you have applied in time and the project is ready for occupation no uh, is rera empowered to uh, instruct the authorities to issue certificate once no. i upload once i upload my application for issuance of occupancy certificate are there powers to rera authority no sir no, no. It, no. it's just that you it's your responsibility to inform the authority rada authority that you your project is ready for occupancy and you are you have already applied for the occupancy certificate in time that's it that is the only in thing such, you can in do. such circumstances the uh, lot cannot ask for compensation for the delay yes you can take that uh, the authority will take that into consideration that you have applied in time and the project on site the project is ready for occupancy so yes that that will take into the consideration by authority now one more thing is when the promoter has a development agreement with the landowner now mm -hmm. some premises are going to be allotted to the landowners say 50, 50 yes. 60, 40 is the ratio 40% will be allotted to the uh, landowners, 60% will be to the developer. Mm -hmm. Now, your developer as well as builder, uh, landowner are required to be registered separately or because landowner will sell his premises independently. Hmm. See, uh, on the website, there is a separate column given for the landowners you can add landowners information there you can add the declaration saying that i'll be maintaining the bank account their responsibilities like the promoter is on the shoulder i'll be following everything you can add in your registration only the details of landowners and the declaration from the landowner so only if single you want, registration you can divide the project Yes, you it can be single register. Registration for both. Yes, you can register single project also if you want to split your project. If you don't want any interference from the landowner, they can you then you can split the project into two parts. The for one phase will belongs to the promoter. The the second phase belongs to the landowner. There will be two separate rera numbers and no connection between two projects you can do that also now brokers are requ also required to be registered under rera yes now, what is their for their formality what they are supposed to do Sir, the money will money agent. will go uh -huh. agent registration is a separate part of rera uh, any person who is dealing with uh, the project the project which is registered under rera then he should be registered with rera also so for registration the agent needs to pay uh, uh, minimum 50000 minimum 10000 rupees is the fees for individual and 1 lakh rupees for the company to register as an agent under rera yeah, so his yeah, responsibility yeah. huh yeah. Sorry. Are they are they required to maintain account of the money? Sometimes they what happens? To, the no, agent they takes money in their name, hmm. and they pay subsequently to the uh, to the builder. In such circumstances, are they required to maintain an account? No, the no, way no, no. Under that is different, sir. 
how how the agent will take the money from the lottery a lottery will I'm, pay I'm, to I'm, the promoter i'm just asking because this is a question which has come from one of the participant no this is the wrong question sir no a lottery not a single person will pay to the third party people will pay to the builder promoter only no what will be the status of uh, broker or agent in this uh, whole scenario so the broker is liable for the uh, for the transaction only if the transaction goes wrong then he is liable for his uh, for his uh, uh, sale only so how much brokerage he is receiving so can can can, can broker like, be taken at taken for uh, task before the authority yes. under era yes yes if it takes money bro if brokers make any misrepresentation misstatement then broker is liable for penalty also for the for that misrepresentation now now is under the website of era can we check if a particular Uh, broker is registered with for the that particular project yes. or not or is uh, misrepresenting without registration can that be no. checked uh you can check if the broker is registered under rera or not but you cannot no, see no my question to a particular project. project no that is not available no that is not there sir okay now you spoke about covered parking yes Now, there is a concept in goa called stilt parking ha uh, which are under the roof hmm in the basement hmm. now are this covered under that uh, definition of covered parking so the stilt parkings different? the stilt parkings are approved by the authority yes approved by the uh, by the authorities that is sh sh shown in your plan sanction plan that is yes, there in your sanction plan it is shown in the building plan extension plan okay and those are because your, your from your premises all sides. the premises starts uh, above the stilt parking sir your in goa sanction plan includes only two types of parking one is covered car park and second is open car park these two things are only there in sanction plan right correct me if, if no, i no, wrong covered no no there what i have, what i have found is those, those are covered parking according to your definition according to rera definition it is enclosed by all sides yes correct no, no if i am wrong my, then correct my first question to you is is the stilt parking mentioned in the plan because the plan in goa says only two types of parking covered car park and open car park if your stilt car park is covered by this covered car park then the covered no, then the this steel parking you can so you can see steel it is not shown as a covered parking that is what i am saying it is shown as a steel parking in the plan in the approved plan in such circumstances what will happen can can uh, the builder sell that steel car park you cannot say the uh, steel park uh, car park to that car parking but if that steel car parking is uh, covering all the uh, is covering all the requirements of covered car park then yes you can sell that car park it should be enclosed from all the sides i have one more question just on check yes this is clear now one more question is come can after individual sale of the unit by individual seller even if there is a clause of formation of society or entity or association individual sale by promoter yes in favor of a individual customer hmm. when there is a clause under the agreement that he is going to form a society and then the uh, uh, lot insist for a sale deed individual sale deed 
sir rera is given this option to the promoter that promoter can keep all the unsold units with him and convey the rest part to the association so he can keep the unsold units no, no. with i think and you have not followed sold... my question hmm. my question is when i have when lot has an agreement with the promoter ha huh. and in that agreement there is a clause that allot promoter is going to execute conveyance deed in favor of society or after formation of society or entity hmm. but still allot insists that he has he is required a individual sale deed of his unit and no. both agree no sir this cannot be done can they can they amend their modify their original agreement and do it for a single uh, allotty see i mean um a uh, correction or the amendment anyways the promoter can do but uh, conveying some part of uh, the project to the uh, allotty this is not practical this is not feasible if the promoter is ready yes he can do that taking the consent from the association if the association is formed he can do that now what will happen but to if he don't but he don't want to do that then as per act not not necessary to agree with this point okay one more minute one more question is found now one more question is come where it is says that if a allot pays the entire payment entire amount to the builder and he wants to transfer to a third person can promoter charge transfer fees on such sale all allot pays the full amount full amount and he wants to transfer before conveyance he wants to transfer his rights or assign his rights hmm. in favor of a third party hmm. who was not party to the original agreement in hmm. such circumstances can the promoter ask for money or his transfer charges on such sale if the promoter has covered this type of transaction is his booking form or allotment letter he can ask for it but this type of transaction if he he have not written anything if he he have not conveyed this thing to uh, conveyed this thing to uh, to the allotty earlier then he should not ask for any money this is not covered by rera now there is one more question is come which says that what is the rera applicable for the development of plots without any uh, building their own means a plotting project land yeah plotting plotting yes yes applicable now one more thing is in my mind is that now builder is required to deposit 70 that you spoke about four accounts yes 70% 30% now if 70% account amount which is deposited because audit will take only once in a year hmm. as per uh, the act hmm. now 70% amount is totally utilized by the builder hmm. without raising proportionate to construction hmm. where do where do lot will will have to go now to the asking his money from the bank or to the rera authority he have promoter has not constructed anything uh, yeah but 70% what was deposited there has been utilized by him because no, what it means cannot take... withdraw in goa in goa to withdraw the money from rera uh, account you need to present the ca certificate oh, in the okay. bank and not then you... only then I only you can withdraw from bank I go to Shikpa Gol. Okay, sir, I'm not okay. able to hear you. Sujit sir, Sanjit sir, 
संजीत इज सी ए अकाउंटेबल इन सच सर्कमस्टांसिस प्रमोटर इज लाइबल फॉर हिज एक्ट no what is what is what is the now if the builder manages with ca and gets a certificate where do allotty will have to go Sir, to recover his money one one act, uh, in the act there is one provision if a ca gives wrong certificate then his uh, degree can be seized under rera under rera yes there is a provision but that has to be taken by somoto rera rera will authority will take action or someone will have to complain about it allotty will have to complain take the issue if allotty the... complains if allotty complains that the project is not ready and the builder is promoter is taking all uh, taking the money from him then the rera authority will examine examine uh, everything then he can take action against ca now one more thing is if a builder a developer is proposing four buildings in a project hmm he completes one building hmm. and owns possession of one building to hmm. society because he has registered it as an individual hmm for a building wise hmm. and for further development of the three other three building remaining three buildings if the because as the land is transferred now to first building owner first building allotees now they have also become the owner of proportionate share in the land now mm-hmm. can they object to the remaining project and what where where the builder will go for his uh, rights uh, to protect his rights when the promoter is registering phase by his project he needs to upload the proposed plans also means he need to upload the layout in the layout there there must be all the buildings that are coming up or sanction if not he needs to upload the proposed plan showing his further development promoter may uh, promoter can uh, show only saying that the, the, this is the future development here he can develop the land in the future and he he need to up, he needs to upload that future drawing on the website so allotees will not take any objection will not able to take any objection for so what if, if allotee take if allotee for of the first building takes objection where do the builder has to go under rera he is protected the allotee will take objection to the authority only so promoter should go to rera only if the, if the if they are not my question is if the allotee of building a are not going to rera if he is troubling to the promoter then promoter can go to the rera authority and rera can summon them yes but the future drawing should be there on the site okay. for phasing project now one more question is come where it says that uh is rera applied to old project which commences before rera but not completed or occupied is not issued till date yes okay now one more question is come here in case of a joint venture development are the land owners entitled to approach rera for compensation interest in case the possession of the land owners premises is delayed much beyond the time stipulated in the agreement of development no because rera is only a redressal for allotees and the promoters not the land owners this is this dispute between land owner and promoter is a civil issue ah uh, then if 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 
pen during pendency of the construction if land owner sells it his share to a third person he can approach arera for in for the disputes of the construction not for the land no 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 not for okay. the land if the, there is a delay in because the land owners and uh, builder have an agreement that they they have mentioned certain time limit for possession of the premises and yes. now based on this agreement he sells his premises to a new allotty then he can take them to the rear authority yes correct no yes now one more question is supposing rera registration is not done and without taking or advertising or taking money from the market of the prospective buyers the builder completes the building and he wants to sell thereafter is he is is he required to register under rera no no what what if without without registering he is doing advertisement no not and advertising taking money no he is not taking money then he is he is doing it from his own fund ha huh. completes the building without advertisement without selling anything without taking money without taking on his own from all all the if of his own then mm -hmm. in such circumstances is he required to register no not required but some banks are asking for rera registration so that is if the, the buyer issue. if the buyer if the buyer wants to buy a ready premises Hmm. now they are asking for rera registration of the builder in what so this, in such circumstances if, what should that buyer do or the builder do builder is stuck he cannot sell because he wants home loan bank says for home loan you require rera registration if the uh, occupancy certificate is there with uh, for the that project project is completed then rera registration is not required you need to tell your bank this only what else we can so far that's it what is i feel that there are no more questions okay thank you advocate sanjeet desai for uh, dealing with this session thank you uh, madam salunke for answering all our questions and uh, whatever uh, questions were there from the participants i hand over to advocate sudhir naik to propose the vote of thanks please unmute yourself sudhir please unmute yourself sudhir please put on your video as well yeah. yes sir i am audible yeah yeah on behalf of thank to advocate amruta solanki for accepting our invitation to be a resource persons in delivering a talk on a subject rera madam our thanks goes to you for delivering a beautiful lecture and sharing your knowledge expertise in the field of rera thank you very much madam thank you sir my thanks also goes to advocate pritam morais for instrumental in guiding us taking up this initiative for organizing this today's webinar my thanks also goes advocate prasad naik president of jia kare college of law alumni association for taking up this initiative for organizing this webinar my thanks also goes to advocate n furtado for nicely comparing today's webinar my thanks also goes to advocate sanjit desai for taking up the questioner an interactive section in a very lively manner my thanks also goes to the participants for participating in today's webinar before we wind up i pay my homage to advocate godas naik and other colleagues who have bravely fought 
the battle of covid and unfortunately lost i request all my colleagues to remain take care of yourselves thank you very much thank you advocate sudhir so now we are ending ending the uh, meeting i call upon everybody to uh, leave the meeting now okay thank you everyone thanks thank you yeah, yeah.